Salam and hello, my name is Abbas. My name is Inam. We're doing this show called Locally Yours. Locally Yours. Locally Yours. Salam and welcome, Abbas with you on Locally Yours. And today I was left alone by Inam. Yes, she didn't show up, but on Locally Yours, no one is left alone. And that's why I have my special guest with me, Mr. Shabib Al Mamri, Managing Director, Visit Oman. So first of all, welcome to the show. Pleasure being here with you. And uh, we're here. We're excited because we have the Tomi Awards. Now, what does Tomi stand for? It is the Oman Marketing Impact. And it is to celebrate creativity in Oman. Because we have people like Shabib working really hard to make sure that what we view on social media or on our, you know, when we're on our cell phones or on our tablets, we are entertained. And, you know, that hard work doesn't go to waste. That's why Tomi is here. And we have Mr. Shabib also here. So, Mr. Shabib, first up, tell me about yourself. Tell me what do you do and uh, why do you do it? Yeah. So, I work in an organization called uh, Visit Oman. It's part of Umran uh, Group. And what we do is we try to digitize different experiences, different products, and different uh, uh, services. That's right. And provide them on a booking engine for the rest of the world. Make it easy to book and come and visit and experience uh, Oman. Of course, uh, this beautiful country, because uh, I've been, I, I was born here, I've lived here, and I still have places to explore in Oman. I mean, it's got so many places. Sometimes you can just go uh, on a road trip and just stop at a random spot and you'll find that beautiful too with the mountain in the background. True. So uh, you never know where the potential uh, is basically in Oman. It's so beautiful overall. So uh, tell me, uh, what, how will the Tomi Awards uh, help the Oman marketing scene? Uh, and what are the challenges that you, as someone who uh, probably designs ad campaigns, what do you face as a challenge? We're super excited to have the award finally right. come back. It's about time we ha celebrate <laughs> creativity, as you uh, rightfully uh, uh, said. And this is to bring up uh, different stories, show, uh, case, different talents uh, in Oman that work on different marketing campaigns and different marketing uh, um, uh, tools. This will open up the doors for dialogue. It will open up the doors for big businesses to look at entrepreneurs, to look at marketing agencies that are up and coming and give them an opportunity to work uh, with them hand in hand. It would also educate the general public on the importance of marketing. What is right. marketing? Why is it important? Is it an investment versus a cost? This is an ongoing dialogue in internal dialogue in a lot of large organizations where right. when you have budget cuts, the first hit usually is the marketing <laughs> yes, uh, budget, which is a big mistake in a lot of cases. And like we've sometimes seen my this. profession falls into the marketing uh, and they're like, no, we don't want a bus, we are a budget. It's, it's, so. it's <laughs> classic, but, but then a lot of times we have cases and cases of why you should spend more on uh, marketing, especially if you're working in an industry that requires sales, a lot of sales. Right. So we're excited to have this award to celebrate creativity and to bring up who are the best marketers and what are the best marketing campaigns. And uh, uh, I want to shed some light on what's happening in the local uh, um, uh, market domestically. For, for us, uh, when it comes to uh, marketing, we're kind of in the B2B sphere. Right. That's okay. our core. Uh, uh, we do B2C, we do domestic. And for people who don't know what B2B stands for, it's uh, business to business. Just letting you know, because I just read that on Google last night. And then B2C <laughs> is business to consumer. True. Uh, and th there's uh, its own challenges here in uh, Oman and when identifying the right, I would say, agency to work with that would deliver a um, well-defined B2B marketing campaign. But then the other challenge is our campaigns are international. So we look at source market and we identify what are the different target groups that we're uh, targeting, what is the best marketing approach uh, right. for them. And then you need to identify the agency that hold the expertise in fulfilling your requirements when it comes to the marketing uh, um, uh, campaign. Come back to your question, what are the challenges that we're facing here uh, domestically? Uh, we do have talent, but then the talent, there is a scarce in talent and we need to work more in training and identifying what are the different programs for individuals to scale them uh, up and open up the market uh, uh, for them. The advantage, once you're successful, you don't need to limit yourself domestically. 
when you're a marketer, when right. you're an, an agency. With the power of internet, you could offer your service to anyone in any country Agreed. around the um, uh, world. And this is the beauty of what we do digitally at uh, uh, Visit Oman. Right. We focus a lot on the dig- different digital channels uh, uh, to send our message, to reach our uh, uh, audience, and to tell our uh, story with the hope uh, and aspiration of conversion at the end of the day, because at the end of the day also, we are a business, we need to make money. True, and uh, what uh, a lot of people don't understand that the marketing department or the sales team that have to represent the company outside, they work really hard, like around the clock, to, uh, because what we see on YouTube, for example, an ad just pops out in front of your face on that screen. Sometimes you just ignore it. It's, the attention span has gone so short now from, uh, I would say, it's gone to a few seconds now. If you can't grab your viewer's attention in the first three seconds, you, you've lost uh, that customer or that viewer. Absolutely, Rath. And then to add to it, uh, B2B is a totally different uh, right. <laughs> animal, I would always say. Because <laughs> yeah. you're targeting corporates, uh, and they're not your typical uh, Gen Z, where they're on their mobile, flipping through different uh, uh, ads with a short span. Uh, you need to be very specific on what are you communicating and how to communicate it. And one of the tricks also you need to identify what sort of a message you want to get across to the decision taker versus the user, because sometimes right. it's uh, 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 different. Sometimes you would target the user, but he's not the decision uh, taker. Agreed. Sometimes you would target the decision taker, but he's not the user. There are different techniques. Uh, like toy uh, companies, there. I think they target children because yes. parents have to give in at some point yes and of course their target is the adults also because they're the decision maker but they also know hey if we get them first we can get the and this is a, the approval level yeah and then the, there, there is this classic mistake mistake that a lot of uh, companies fall on when they go to marketing they go with the influencers and they go with an influencer that has a million but they don't ask the question who are the followers and are they the target group that I need to advertise right, uh, uh, to? Right. So you hire someone, they do a phenomenal job, but then sales, uh, there is no movement. Uh, and is there. there a way to quantify this when you hire uh, an influencer, let's yes. say? And uh, is it easy? Is it a complex task to do that, to uh, quantify it? That no, it's, it's, it's uh, not uh, if you have the right parameters and then if you have the right strategy, I would say. And you have a very clear objective. Why are you doing this? Right. The, the, the why... If you answer the why, you answer all the uh, uh, um, questions. And we go back to the... Uh, like my parents, they always ask why. Why did we get a bus? But <laughs> some people get answered in short. I can't help with that, <laughs> that question. <laughs> but with social media influencers, definitely you can quantify it. Okay. And then you get into specialized influencers. So you don't go to your general influencer that does advertising for every single thing. Gotcha. You go to, let's take an example, this uh, iPad, and you want to sell it. You look for someone that doesn't have 10 million followers, but you look for someone who has a million loyal uh, followers that care about tech and right. are care, uh, they, they care about uh, iPads. And then you work with that uh, uh, influencer. You get endorsements and you carry on this uh, um, you know, story with different channels. Influencers is only one part of the equations. So as you know, uh, Tommy Awards is uh, it's trying to break the barrier now to actually reward creativity so people can step up their game every year. Because if you have a clear objective, you know that in the end, after designing ad campaigns, you're not just going to get a medium pizza for your name. You're actually going to get rewarded. This is for the management, by the way, I'm telling you, yeah. No more pizzas. So, yeah, I mean, if there is, uh, at the year end, if you know you're going to get rewarded, how do you think this will also help season uh, the viewers or the consumers, the customers outside? So, uh, the award is one part. So, you find uh, um, an individual, an organization, uh, a campaign, and to shed some light, uh, um, there is the awareness, but it always does uh, wonder. Just like word of mouth. If I tell you, Abbas, I work with this guy, he's great you would consider talking to that uh, guy. Let alone if you award uh, that individual or that organization. So awareness is very important. And God knows that we need more awareness here in yeah. Amman for <laughs> yes, many different uh, um, things. The other thing is what happens after the uh, um, uh, award. And this is one of the things I think um, I would recommend uh, Tommy to look into is post uh, uh, prize. Do we have a program for these individuals? Can we train them? Can we recommend them? Can we take them to a larger corporation and tell them, listen, 
this is the winner. Uh, uh, can you give them a chance to work uh, uh, with you on a different uh, campaign? Right. Someone needs to carry on. It doesn't have to be the organizers of Tommy, but I look at Tommy as the catalyst for a kickstart well that would take an individual or an organization to the next uh, uh, level. And let alone maybe take them international, regional and then international. Again, with the power of, of internet, you don't need to travel to different uh, countries. Use an AI uh, as a technology to uh, uh, basically uh, produce uh, uh, content. That helps uh, uh, a lot in content uh, creators. Very well said. I think uh, when I was hearing you talk, all the points for marketing, they were just pouring in because in the end, like you rightly said, that the awareness needs to be there. Yep. And there needs to be a re reward scheme as well for people working hard. Now, my other question is that how well do you think that the marketing in Oman converts into something monetary? For example, if I put up something on Instagram or if I win an award, because in my experience as an artist, when I perform somewhere, for example, I do stand-up comedy. Not that funny, but I do it still. So when I do that, when I get three business cards, Sometimes out of the 10 business cards I get, only one will convert. So sometimes I do ask this question to myself, you're the expert here, that why that conversion doesn't take place locally? It takes a lot of time. Uh, right. And then we'll talk about population, uh, 5 million is not a very large uh, um, uh, number. So the size of the market does affect. But again, I would go back to the point of internet and the power of uh, uh, internet. Nowadays, Abbas, if we take you as an example, you don't need to limit yourself to the local uh, um, uh, market. If you become a comedian that does skits on uh, uh, line, you will get a call at the end of the day from a neighboring country or maybe a different uh, uh, region or a different continent. And we've seen how many people were successful by introducing themselves through YouTube and through different uh, channels where they became famous and they started getting I agree. job. I actually uh, got a call from one of my videos and then I did a show in Barka at a farmhouse. So that did convert into something. Like yeah. I did travel, but not too far away. <laughs> com com conversion is the name of the game, but it's not that uh, easy right. to, to be honest, especially if we talk about uh, sales. But you need to be super focused. You can't scatter yourself over all the channels and then have mixed uh, messages with different audience and different target uh, uh, groups. You see a lot of these uh, campaigns that does everything, but then they say nothing. Uh, um, it's not about, about only the power of uh, spend, but also the creativity plays uh, uh, a very big role. You said very, something very interesting at the beginning, the span, the attention uh, uh, span. Yeah, that's and what we you're discussed. not the only one competing for that attention uh, span, especially online, especially on mobiles. I was reading today about the number of mobiles in Oman. There are over 7 million uh, active mobile numbers in Oman. Wow. And the population is 5 million. Oh, wow, okay. So... Uh, Some you, people, uh, shady people have three <laughs> numbers or four numbers, now no, we know. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it, it shows you the power of penetration when it comes to mobile right. and gives you an indication that that's the way to go. But you can't ignore also the fact, uh, out of home uh, uh, advertising, that helps a lot in uh, uh, setting you up in terms of a brand. What type of message you want to get across? Why would you take a building versus uh, a road? The budget that you have, how the better utilization. What I love about uh, our job when it comes to digital uh, marketing is the power of data. Right. When you spend, you get data and then you reflect and you say, okay, this is working. Let's expand on it or this is not working. Let's find out why. Is it not uh, working and change uh, uh, the strategy? With the roads and the conventional one, it's very difficult to measure. There are different uh, ways where you say, you know, Muscat Expressway, uh, there is half a million people, for instance, that drive there. I can get 100,000 people looking at my ad, so I quantify, I spend this much, and this is my return of investment in terms of wow. attention. But with digital, you get a data back gotcha. for every single basis that you spent. Exactly. So uh, now coming to the ultimate question, Mr. Shabib, that have you registered for the Tommy Awards? Definitely. Oh, we, brilliant. We, okay. I thought maybe I, I we, need to give him the details. No, we, we, we He's a step ahead, <laughs> by the way. A step ahead. Always. No, we're, we're super excited. We got the golden opportunity to work with the Ministry of Heritage and Tourism this summer on a fantastic summer Mashallah. campaign. Thanks to them, they gave us the opportunity. Great, great. And I think the campaign did uh, really well. It was called Live the Vibe. Uh, we worked with nice. uh, social media influencers, uh, uh, local and uh, local, I would say, tourism influencers. 
family, youth, and we introduced a very nice concept in uh, collaboration with the Ministry of Heritage and Tourism. And we decided, you know what, there was a lot of effort that the ministry uh, have done in collaboration with Umran uh, uh, Group, and it's worth applying for this uh, uh, award. Brilliant. So if you're looking for your company to get highlighted for its marketing strategy or for an ad campaign that you think stood out in your eyes, then uh, make sure that you register for uh, Tommy Awards. And uh, don't go anywhere because I'll be seeing Mr. Shabib off, but we'll have Anna join in and then she'll give us, a, a, you know, information on uh, Tommy Awards. How can you register, you know, all the paperwork and stuff, admin stuff. So let me just uh, see Mr. Shabib off. Thank you so much Thank for you. Uh, coming on uh, this show, Locally Yours. And, you know, it was such an interesting conversation about that marketing. People think it's a it's a it's a uh, it's a holistic term. That okay, fine. Marketing. I did marketing because I put up a picture on Instagram. But it's so specific. It's so detailed. It's like science that you have to make sure that to make the strategy work, everything is in place. And uh, now I know that. So, Mr. Shabib, thank you once again, and okay. good luck with uh, your registration with Tommy, and uh, good luck with your future projects, inshallah. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Been a pleasure. Bye. The jacket is off because uh, my guest is gone, but I've got someone uh, that I work with and who is heavily involved with the Tommy Awards. The one and only. Give it up for Anna Popova. Did, did I say it right? Popova? Yeah, perfectly. Perfect, right? right? Yeah. As if you like <laughs> repeated it 100 so, times. <laughs> so, Anna, how are you, first of all? Yeah, you're all, doing well. All great. Uh, yeah, yeah, very you look excited really nice. about it. Mashallah, <laughs> I love the color combination. And, like, anyway, so we're here to talk about the Tommy Awards, yeah. right? Now, let's say I'm someone who wants to register for the Tommy Awards. Yeah. How do I do it? How do I navigate through this? Right. So, we have a website, uh, tommyawards.com. Okay, okay. And then. Uh, there is uh, a form that you can fill okay. and we will send you all the information so about it. So what kind it, of yeah. form do I have to fill? Like no, what it, sort of details? it's just, just Basic shoot details? out to us, yeah, so okay. that we could email you uh, information about it. Okay. You okay. can and contact by register, email or okay. by phone. Mm -hmm. And once mm -hmm. they complete the registration, what do they do after that? What's uh, What are the steps that I have to right. follow? So, yes, uh, we will share access details. Okay. Yeah, that they that are unique um, with a password, so that they can upload their campaigns. Oh, and mm. when you say upload the campaigns, yeah. do you mean like videos and pictures and like like captions and all of that? Or we have sixteen categories. Okay. Something like, for example, best can you mention print three, ads. Like the yeah, top yeah, sure. three? Yeah, Like print ads or best website or best event design. Yeah, so mm. I, I'm sure every marketeer will have something to choose from. Right. Yeah, depending on the category, there will be few things to, to fill in. And, and we okay. try to make it as simple as possible. Yeah, it should, because mm -hmm. nowadays things have become too complicated, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. even marketing strategies, they become too complicated. Keep it simple, know your customer, and just make them happy. That's exactly. all it takes in the end exactly. for a successful ad campaign. Yeah. Okay, so let me just get the steps right. Mm. So if I'm interested to register for the Tommy Awards, I go on the website, tomiawards.com. Exactly. Okay, mm. then there's a simple form. I just have to fill that up. Okay, and then I get my password, my username, and then I just have to upload the stuff that I'm doing during the year. Or, And can I register for future events? If there's a client that I'm working for, maybe the event is, say, after the campaign is after four months. Can I still register for Tommy? Uh, well, we are looking into the past period, and okay. uh, you can log in with the. Comp I mean, you can submit the campaigns for the past few years. Gotcha. You know? Okay, makes sense. Makes and sense. Uh, actually, access details will be sent to you. Yeah. So once uh, somebody writes us, then we will get back to them with their unique uh, username and password. And how excited no. are you, uh, Anna? Tell me that. I know you've been working hard. You have a team. Uh, that's working hard for mm. this. So, how do you feel? Are you nervous uh, as the date is approaching? This is a very good question. I would say mixed feelings. Mixed feelings? Mixed okay. feelings. So, it's a mix of what and what? Um, well, the thing is that it is, we're doing it for the first time. Yeah. It and is an initiative, uh, yes. It is the first yes. time in Oman. Let's not forget that. First yeah. time in Oman, all right. First ever creative award in Oman, yeah. Okay, yep. And uh, we get different feedback from the market, yeah. And uh, I love it when it's something encouraging coming right. over. And, uh, you know, 
something amazing happened yesterday. Okay. Um, I get uh, I get a call from one of the smaller marketing agencies here, and she says, uh, "How do we actually apply? Like, do we take a photo from of the advert in mm. the newspaper?" And I'm like, "I'm just trying to get what is she talking about." Right. And she says, uh, "I ask her." Did you actually work on this campaign? She said, no, I didn't. But I think these adverts are brilliant. And if we only submit our mm. own campaigns, you know, then, like, then it becomes a very egoistic thing. Wow. So why wow. not I share the adverts which I believe are amazing? And I was like, you an angel. Wow. wow. So people basically, <laughs> what we think that the marketing industry in Oman is competitive, which... It's true, mm. and it's growing now with uh, with these initiatives. Mm. I hope there are more, uh, you know, in yeah. the future. From what I understand, that it's a tightly knit community. People want to help each other. They uh, the uh, the marketing departments across the Sultanate. They want to like collaborate. They want to do things together, new things. So customers like us, uh, not like me at least. I don't spend a lot of money. Okay, mm. but. Uh, for someone who spends money, they, they at least feel that, yeah, that company took that effort the whole year for me to spend my money after watching all those adverts for this product. You know, even the customer needs to feel good about it because whenever I spend money, I, I don't feel good uh, <laughs> because I need a raise management. If you're listening to me, uh, I, I don't send emails. I, I say it during my show. Mm. Doesn't help. But uh, Anna, I just want to say thank you so much mm. for coming on board and filling us in on uh, how can one register for the Tommy Awards yeah. and then, you know, navigate. So it's pretty simple. You register, you start mm -hmm. submitting your campaigns and then you wait for the voting, right? Yeah. In the end. Yeah. Brilliant. And can I add something else? Sure. You know? Yes, we're just starting. And the thing is that once Tommy Award is there, I think this will encourage uh, marketers, uh, companies for the future to get more creative. Right. Because I, I get some feedback like, Anna, we would like to submit some amazing campaigns. Right. And they say, well, we don't actually feel that we have a lot. Right. So now that they know that Tommy is there, you know, I think it will really encourage the market to to look into this in the future. I also mm. believe that the small companies or the medium-sized companies, SMEs, mm. uh, Let's say they have a great marketing team. Mm -hmm. I think this is a great platform to highlight those companies too. Maybe they didn't reach their target audience, but now after receiving this mm -hmm. award, uh, they're highlighted. Now they're getting businesses. Inshallah, why not? You know, we can always pray for the best. So Anna, um, coming back to the registration part, um, you know, a lot of companies have tight budgets yeah. for marketing. Now, this is also a way of marketing yourself, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, Tommy Awards. Uh, if uh, you've tuned in late, just letting you know, Tommy stands for... Uh, the Oman marketing impact, okay? And for short, you can just say Tommy Awards. Yeah. So what is the cost to register for, for this? You know, we have the good news. Because usually this kind of awards, uh, application for one category starts from 200 reals. I, I know, Like yeah. the, in the neighboring countries. Tell me it's cheaper, please. <laughs> Tell me it's cheaper. It is absolutely zero. Are you serious? Yes. Zero, uh, you like there, there are no hidden costs. No, it's, zero it's free of charge, and uh, companies can apply for as many categories, and they can apply with as many adverts as they no would wonder like to. I'm not getting uh, my raise yet because <laughs> all that money is being pumped into Tommy Awards, okay, for free. But on a serious note, that sounds brilliant. I mean, mm. so if you want to initiate this even in your company, it's easy, it's free. Yeah. You don't have to get it approved from the marketing uh, department, yes. nothing. This could be done both by the companies and by the agencies. Gotcha, mm -hmm. gotcha. Brilliant. Thank you so much, Anna, for coming on board and filling me in on this. Uh, honestly, just a while back, I was just told about this award. Okay, I'm never kept in the email loops. So uh, I'm really excited. This sounds like a great initiative. And good luck. Good luck to us, as a matter of fact. Yeah? Thank We're you. The same team, so Thanks. why not? Good luck to us. <laughs> good luck to us. Right, oh, yeah. Good yeah. luck to you too. <laughs>